To begin, we have sorted into order the various parts that make up the complete assembly. We have the clamp nut, collet, gland, body moulding and carrier housing. On the carrier housing, we have a locking ring. We will now assemble these parts over the cable in the correct order. Dependent on what cable size you are using, there are different size glands and collets. Place each section of the connector over the wire like so. Ensure each stage is positioned the right way round. This assembly example is a 3-pin variant. Several versions up to 12 poles are also available. Securely tighten the clamp nut and body holding together by hand. Now we have to prep the cable's ends for insertion into the carrier housing. The cable has been stripped back and pre-cut, working to a 20mm maximum length to expose the inner cable. Wire ends have been stripped back to 5mm, plus or minus 1mm, in preparation for contacts. There are two types of contacts. They can either be crimped into position or soldered. To crimp, place the contact on the wire, then insert into the crimp tool. Close securely and firmly. Our wires with pin contacts are now ready. Once all wires have been correctly crimped into position, they can be inserted through the entry points inside the carrier housing. Final step is to align the blue tabs with the slots, like so, then push firmly until they click into place. Once fitted correctly, the blue tags will be visible through the slots.